With everyone putting such an emphasis on live video and recording yourselves when you have your phone or you're just kind of in the moment and you want to share something, that has exploded. It's become so popular. So why wouldn't you use some of that content for your podcast? Today, I'm going to show you all about how you can use your Facebook Lives that you've already done and turn them into podcast episodes. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I'm going to show you how you can repurpose the Facebook Lives that you've already created using StreamYard and turn them into podcast episodes. Because like I said, you're already doing them anyway, right? You're probably on your phone and you hit record and you're sharing a great, valuable piece of advice. So why wouldn't you go ahead and share that on another platform like your podcast? Specifically today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this using the platform StreamYard. I recently started using this a few months ago and I gotta tell you, if you watched this previous video all about how to turn your Facebook Lives into podcasting, I say, uh, don't even go watch it. Don't, don't even do it. Don't even be tempted because what I'm about to show you today is going to make your life so much easier easier because everyone is putting a much bigger emphasis on video. Like everything's getting a lot faster and a lot simpler. And today I'm so happy to share with you that it is crazy simple to turn your live videos into podcast episodes. So let's hop on over to the computer and I'm going to show you how. Hey everybody. So like I said in the beginning, um, this is StreamYard. This is the platform I've been using to go uh, broadcast on Facebook Live, and it's super cool. They do have a free version of the software that you can try out. I think that the only difference, or one of the main differences between the paid version and the free version is the free version has a lot of branding that is all StreamYard. I currently have the paid version where I can do my own branding and do all those things, but I just wanted to kind of show you if you go to StreamYard.com, and I'll have a link in uh, in the video description so you can go check this out, but this is kind of a tutorial. You can go on there and see what it's all about. They have great testimonials. I've had other people tell me amazing things about this platform, but what I really like is being able to stream in multiple places at one time. I can do uh, a Facebook Live on my Facebook page and in a group. I could actually, I think, do up to a few at a time. I could go live on YouTube as well as Facebook. So there's a lot of different options, but one of the other fun things that I like is, um, and you can see this here, is there's a, uh, you can put comments up there. So it's a lot more engaging with your audience. And I just really like being able to interact with my audience. So this is super cool. Like I said, you can put your own branding, your custom graphics, your logo, you can do all sorts of fun things. But today we are specifically talking about how to use StreamYard for your podcast. So um, I'm actually logged into my StreamYard account and I'm going to show you how you can take a Facebook Live. I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial on how you can actually create it. And then I'm gonna show you how to, once it's recorded, turn that into a podcast episode. So how to create a brand new broadcast. Let me make this a lot bigger so y'all can see. So you would just create a broadcast and then I would select where I wanted this to go for the purposes of this. I'm gonna do this in the Profit Podcast Online Community. It's a free Facebook group that I have. So I would title this um, YouTube Tutorial and then uh, come join us for a fun conversation. And, um, oh, it's mad at me because it's capitalized. I never said I was really good at spelling and grammar. So then from there, let me zoom out just a little bit. You can see um, I can add these comments right here, which will tell everybody, hey, if you click on this link, then your uh, comments, like what we just saw in the on the StreamYard main page, will pop up in the video, but you have to let StreamYard have your um your information on facebook like not not have your information but you have to give them permission to put your name up there otherwise it just says facebook user which is totally fine too if people don't want to do that what i will typically do is i will schedule for a future date 
And this is really cool because then if you've ever seen somebody have a Facebook Live and it has that little link, like, oh, they're going live tomorrow or in a few days, and it'll say get reminder. Well, when you schedule Facebook Lives this way, that's how that happens. But instead of that, I'm actually just going to click create broadcast, right? Because we're pretending that we're going in there. So we're going into a live studio. Oh, no, but it's okay because we're we're not going live. Okay, so it says that it can't access it because I'm actually recording this video right now. But I would enter without the camera, right? It's telling me it's mad at me because I'm recording this video and it's saying, oh, it can't work. But this is how it looks whenever you're in here. So. If I were to go live, it wouldn't have my audio or my camera because I'm recording it using Camtasia right now. But what I would do is I would have a conversation with just me talking and teaching whatever I wanted to teach, or I could bring in a, uh, a fellow podcaster or someone else. Um, I actually did an interview, and you can go check it out. If you go into the Profit Podcasting Online Community, you can go check out that group. I did a recent interview in there that I'm turning into a podcast episode. So um, I won't give you a full tutorial, but um, you would just click the go live button whenever you're ready and you're good to go. So I had to interrupt the video real fast just to ask, how often are you doing Facebook Lives? Are you doing these in your private Facebook communities, like a Facebook group? Are you going live on your page? I'm curious to know. So comment below and tell me how often you're doing Facebook Lives and where you're actually doing them. Okay, let's get back to the video. But instead, I'm actually gonna get out of here. I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna go into past broadcast because we're gonna pretend like you have already recorded your Facebook Live, all went well, you're good to go, and you wanna turn that Facebook Live into a podcast episode. So what you would do is go into past broadcast and just a quick note, that you can only go back seven days. I don't know why it's specific to seven days, but if you record something, you only have seven days to download either the video file or the audio only, which is super cool that you can do the audio only, because trust me, this makes your life so much easier if you can just have the MP3 or the MP4 file. So uh, this is actually the one that I wanted to do. This is uh, podcast advertising. We did a recent podcast episode about this. I did. This is the uh, particular podcast interview that I did that I mentioned that you can go check out. But this is cool. So you just go to the one that you want to turn into a podcast. You click on more and you click on download recording. And when you do that, it gives you the option. See, StreamYard saves your recording for seven days. Download them within that time if you need them. So what I did, I actually already downloaded this, but I'm gonna do it again just to show you. So what I did is as soon as it was done, I downloaded it, that way I didn't forget. Because come on, let's let's be honest. Like there's a lot of things to keep up with. I would probably forget in the seven day time frame. And it's okay if you totally forget and because you still can go download a Facebook Live from Facebook. But I have found that the quality diminishes a little bit whenever you download a video from StreamYard, or sorry, from Facebook instead of StreamYard because it was recorded locally here and then streamed to Facebook. So the qual quality isn't as good for the video. Now the audio I think is probably about the same, but I like having the one that was recorded directly. Like StreamYard was recording my microphone, not Facebook. Facebook. It was being pushed out to Facebook. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But I would just click download audio only. You guys, this makes everything so much easier. The process used to be you got to download the video, then you got to upload it to Cloud Convert, and then you got to download it again once it's converted. And it was just a whole process. So now it's actually ready to go. And I'm going to open up Hindenburg, which has been the, uh, it's Hindenburg Journalist, which is the audio editing software I've been using. So if I wanted to turn this Facebook Live that we just downloaded into a podcast episode, all I have to do is import this file. And I can actually import this just by grabbing this file and going over to Hindenburg and dropping it in. 
How cool is that? And because Hindenburg, oh, this is so cool. Did you see? Oh my gosh, I love it. So it actually auto levels everything. So it's not too loud. It's not too quiet. It's not like, it's all the things, which is why I love Hindenburg. Super awesome. But then you would edit it just like you do any other uh, podcast editing. You would just go in and edit it like it was another interview or you recorded your own voice. You could go in and do everything normally. But that is how you can take a Facebook Live using StreamYard and turn it into a podcast episode. So that does it. Super simple, right? Like, oh my gosh, you are probably, your mind is blown at seeing how easy it is to take your Facebook Live videos that you produce using StreamYard and turn them into podcast episodes. Like, I hope that this was just a gift that you're just like, this is incredible. I'm gonna do it so much more often because it really is that simple to repurpose content that you've already created and use it for a podcast episode. But that does it for today, so make sure you hit that thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe below, that way you don't miss our future podcasting videos that we put out every single week. It's what we love to talk about around here. And you can actually check out some of our previous podcast videos that I hope you find super helpful. And remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.